Hey builders, I'm back. So what are we going to build this time? A silent coder which is going to be invisible for all popular screen sharing platforms but not for you. That is what we are going to build in this video. So let's have a, a quick peek view at our application. So to de better demonstrate, let's open any popular screen sharing platforms for instance a google meet so i'm just uh, on google chrome with a google meet so let me start uh, a new instant meeting and let me mute and also hide the video since we are recording so it will be voice echoing and here and i'm just going to invite other participant to the same meet so let's open uh, this one so I'm just going to switch the account let me switch this one and here also I'm just going to meet this and I'm just going to request to admit me so here we go now there are two people in this thing uh, meeting now let's uh, go to our edge browser assuming this is we where we are going to share our screen so let me try to share entire screen so let me sh uh, share this entire screen and now whatever we are sharing here will be visible to the other party as well okay so and i'm um, let's try to open our application now so i'm just going to open and also let's try to minimize this one and open our application so this is uh, the uh, silent coder which is going to be our application a desktop application that is what we'll be building and you should see here now uh, let me just yeah so as soon as we open we should see the stake for screenshot and then the uh, settings icon i'll walk you through what is this about and we need to see uh, the comparison so uh, let's show you what do i mean and uh, and here i'm just opening this and try to minimize this and we do have now side by side comparisons so let me just close this one okay and fine so here i'm switching on my screen share to the lead code okay now 
thief whatever you are uh, seeing the screen on the left side uh, we are not able to uh, keep track of this uh, or take for screenshot or whatever we have so this is the application that will be building which is invisible for others but not for you so you, if i want i can zoom in to uh, see this one so that take a uh, first screenshot and then settings okay and if i just open this uh, settings and to like the sh there are a lot of shortcuts like i told you so no need of a, a, a mouse or a cursor for this one so to move your window uh, on your screen to either in all of the directions just hold command or control on uh, a mac or a windows respectively and uh, play with the arrow key so to just go right press a right or a right arrow key to go up right uh, up, upward arrow key and uh, respectively okay so now i'm just uh, going to uh, showcase this and let's uh, to zoom in uh, you should just use command and uh, minus uh, thing or control plus minus so i'm just uh, zooming out now and for zooming in command plus uh, equals to and for same thing in uh, windows okay to reset back to whatever the status of the zoom was just use uh, command zero so it will just set, uh, set back to whatever it was before so let, let's talk about uh, the shortcuts that we have so first is the toggle uh, main window like command b it's going to completely hide the window so let's give a test so i just press command b and it is completely out of the uh, screen that we have and let's press back the command b and it will just restore the position and the coordinates of the window that we have and uh, for taking screenshot it is command h on mac or control h on uh, windows so just take uh, like i'll be talking in terms of command so if it's a window just replace that with control okay so here first thing uh, so like you see now uh, this is uh, visible to me but not to the uh, person who is viewing the screen on the left side in uh, google uh, meet you can clearly see that so that is what i want to show now so now let's uh, try to play what is this so there are like different phases stages of this uh, uh, platform that it is uh, i'm talking about uh, so let's press command h so this is going to capture the screen of us so here it took the screenshot of the window that we uh, we have so on the left side it is the google meet in the chrome and the right side it is uh, the read code page in edge okay uh, that is what we have so this is going to uh, capture the screenshot for you and uh, now if you wanted to help us get the uh, solution for the problem statement that we have uh, in our screen just we need to press command plus enter okay so what this does now so it will process the screenshot that we took and identify the problem statement so this is the problem statement that is in the uh, uh, screenshot so it's a trapping rainwater problem and it will process that problem statement and showcase that which we, which we just saw and then try to process that problem statement and uh, generate the solution for us the code solution and thoughts like uh, uh, the thinking out loud just to uh, convey to the other person whoever is uh, trying to uh, assess us so you can just uh, this is like uh, thoughts we have and the code that is generated so the language that i've chosen was a python so it generated the solution for me in python so uh, like now it is generated so let to scroll it out up and down so just like i said command and arrow keys so if you just go or press upward arrow key you can see the solution that it generated for me in uh, uh, python uh, just a trap function and have left max right max watercraft and uh, left max array and uh, this is the method uh, uh, the solution that it has generated for us okay so this is going to generate this one for us and you can decrease the opacity uh, or increase the opacity by uh, using command or uh, plus uh, open square brackets or, or close square brackets so let me show you what you mean so i'm just pressing trying to decrease the opacity of it so now you can see the difference and let me try to change the opacity back to whatever it was before okay so this one which is just visible to you you can just take help of it and uh, uh, just get the uh, work done so this is for this and let's say now uh, uh, we, uh, I'm, I'm not going to uh, show that in very uh, detailed way so what do i want to show now is basically 
let's say now you have uh, so here you can see the complexity as well so let's say you are uh, trying to solve a problem and uh, you did end up with some solution and uh, executed it but it did fail out so so now you want to help with that so that phase is called debugging phase or help phase okay so now if i take a screenshot just you can just again take one more screenshot so you should see the screenshot now captured and this is like debugging phase uh, now what it does is basically uh, if it, it had uh, the screenshot of you was something like test case values or uh, the uh, inputs that you wanted to uh, pass uh, using your code so if that screenshot is captured and uh, um, if you again press command enter so it is going to process the screenshot you can see the loader indicator on the screenshot and it will process it and just uh, put it out like what it changed and what are the issues that is it has identified in your uh, results or test cases and then accordingly help you with the output so in this case you see now it has like what i changed text and also like uh, the solution that it is um, uh, that it has generated and analysis for us like what issues it has identified uh, specific improvements and interactions and optimizations and all and uh, then uh, that is how it's going to help you and then you can just take it uh, take your help so i guess the comparison uh, uh, it's uh, fair enough that i've shown it is not visible maybe now i can just uh, uh, maximize this and so that uh, uh, walk you through more about it so now let's say you have this solution and you wanted to uh, code it out so you can just go to this and uh, uh, do like take help of it decrease its opacity and uh, this is what you wanted to so you can just type it out like if you just yeah you can just type it out like normally or oh, how you do so this is the application that we'll be building so it's just the screen that will be visible and it's completely transparent and also like you can just adjust uh, its opacity and everything so it's it's going to work to all of all of the uh, screen sharing software okay that is what we'll be learning how to build an application of that kind in this video so this is just what i wanted to show now let's talk about the other functionalities that we have so basic uh, the um, the things that we have so now you have the screenshot capture and uh, so you can either delete this there is a cross mark you can delete that so to delete using your uh, sh shortcut there is command plus l uh, so i can just delete this one the screenshot so clicking on that it is going to delete and show or hide the window and uh, this is again to take a screenshot and the to start over let's say you are starting with a new problem and you are done with the previous problem to start it all again so just press command r and it's going to just take you back to the original state that it was in okay so in here um, this solve a problem will be activated once you have the uh, screenshot so let me just take the screenshot so this is the screenshot now you see the solve problem is activated and delete last screenshot is also activated and here you can uh, choose the language of your choice that you are comfortable in so let me just move this window up so that i can show you more languages so just choose the language that you are comfortable in and the solution will be generated in that language and uh, now here is the important point uh, uh, so for this to work you need to have your own api key and here is the setting section so this is the place uh, like let me just move this window so where uh, uh, you need to configure your own api key so choose your provider it can be openai gemini so i have not had it anthropic so it's a simple so once you follow the build video it should be fair and simple straightforward for you to add new providers and once you select this openai uh, 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 provider you need to set this key and here just the brief instructions of uh, uh, all of the uh, keyboard shortcuts you can just uh, uh, open the settings and uh, understand more about what and all uh, the screenshots that we have to quit obligations is control q or command q opacity and all which i told you talk to you about and here like i said we have three phases uh, in this application building problem extraction so once you take the screenshot uh, which model should be used to uh, identify the problem statement in that and uh, uh, populate in the uh, screen that you are seeing 
and here here is the model that you need to select and for solution generation once you have the problem statement leverage that and uh, generate the code in the language that you have selected so this is the model for that so choose accordingly whatever you want and this debugging like i said you are in process of uh, solving problem and you ended up with uh, some issues take the screenshot of it and then uh, take help of it by just hitting command enter and then which model to use in that scenario that you need to configure it here so this is the application that we will be building so simple and straightforward uh, but it's a trickier that's the thing how it's going to work and how it is going to help us to uh, abstract the popular screen sharing platforms to not uh, have a uh, visibility of this window so this is the thing that we will be building and hope this is going to be exciting for you and, and one more thing i'm going to uh, showcase you right from how to build it from ground up and also how to distribute it in the form of the dmg files for mac or exe files for uh, the windows and all so like all the automating uh, pipelines to create a new versions for whatever the thing that you develop and like here uh, we just uh, release it to our uh, github and uh, we'll have this exe files for you to download it to uh, uh, windows and then set it up so and also for mac dmg files okay and uh, just one more thing uh, uh, for to uh, distribute it across all uh, OS we need to have uh, a, a verified certificate on an uh, apple developer account for mac and uh, on windows but if you want to bypass you can just install this and uh, just run it uh, there will be an option to just run it anyway and then go ahead and it should just work fine okay so that is what we'll be building hope uh, you will learn something so let's jump on to uh, build session